Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, my name is Mike Nagoda. I'm a solo artist, guitar player, musician. I'm actually a slide guitarist and lap steel player. Um, a couple days ago, I did my first reaction video. I reacted to my favorite band, Deep Purple, doing Speed King in Moscow in 1996. And y'all seemed to enjoy it. Um, gave me some more suggestions for videos to watch. I'm going to get to them all, I promise. Uh, but today, we are doing... Deep Purple, Highway Star, the immortal classic, live in Sydney in 1984. And this was during the um, the Perfect Strangers reunion tour. Uh, and it, were, it reunited the classic Mark II lineup of Richie Blackmore, John Lord, Ian Pace, Roger Glover, and Ian and Gillum. Uh, and there's so many lineup changes with Deep Purple. I won't go into the band's history. Oh. As I do more of these, I'll fill you guys in on the history of the band because I think Deep Purple might have had like the most like number of lineup changes out of any rock band I can think of. So, um, without further ado, here is Highway Star live in Sydney in 1984. Let's go. What's going on with these synthesizers? I hear a bit of hand. And all I see is a black screen. Oh, there's Rishi. Whatever John is doing with the synthesizers and the sound effects is great. I think I hear strings in there too. Oh, there's Ian Pace. Okay, Rube's coming in. There's Roger Glover. I hear the bass. There's John. There's Richie. Okay. Band's coming in. Man, that groove that Ian Pace is playing. Yeah, he was driving that hard. And Richie's got the 16th notes going on the rhythm on the guitar. Okay. Man, they are driving this. And John Lord is holding those big swelling chords and he's filling in the rhythm. I mean, Richie Blackmore is like, he could play rhythm guitar when he wanted to, but the thing was he didn't really want to. So John really filled in uh, as the rhythm, I guess the accompanist in the band. Uh, Roger Glover once described him as the a, a rhythm organ player, and I can't think of a more apt description than that. They called him a rhythm organ player and a real Zen archer soloist in one interview I saw. That's a pretty damn good description of the man. Um, but yeah, he does some really complex rhythms on the organ, and it's not easy. Um, let's keep going. Oh, I'm still. I, all I see is a black screen. Where is the band? All I see is darkness, infinite darkness, or in the. In the world, uh, in, in the words of Spinal Tap, it's none the more black. <laughs> so, I suppose that's sort of appropriate. Maybe. Who knows? Alright, Ben's driving. Yeah! There we go. There's the band. There's Ian Gillen. Okay. Okay. I just gotta say... How great is Roger Glover's outfit? That 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 blue that blue jacket and I love his hat. His hat's great. His hat like reminds me of like uh Indiana Jones or Crocodile Dundee or something. I don't know. I think like I mean Indiana Jones is pretty popular in the eighties. Harrison Ford was pretty popular. So who knows? Maybe Indiana Jones influenced Roger uh, Glover's um, stage outfit during this era. Who knows? Who the hell knows? Let's keep going. Ooh, 
Okay. No smoking. You see that? Let's go back to that. Great screen, by the way, for you. See? No smoking. There's all that smoke on stage. And I bet everybody ignored that rule. I bet everybody... <laughs> I wonder how many people were uh, smoking pot that day <laughs> and getting high as a kite. Probably a lot of folks. I mean, really, who pays attention to the no smoking rule at concerts? Nobody does. Nobody fucking does. Ian Gillen is in great voice. Peak performance here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just hear what I think I heard from Richie? Let's, let's, I, I gotta bring that back. It almost sounds like he's sneaking in the riff to burn. It's kind of like a pseudo burn riff. He's almost doing like half the riff a little bit. I wonder if he's doing that to sneak that in and piss Ian Gillen off. Burn is from the Mark III and 4L era of Deep Purple, which Ian was not in, and neither was Roger Glover. Although, for those of you who don't know, when uh, Ian Gillen got kicked out after this reunion, I know Deep Purple has so many lineup changes, right? But when Ian Gillen got kicked out, they brought Joel and Turner from Rainbow Inn. And then um, on that tour with Joel and Turner, they opened with Burn. So Roger Glover played the bass part to a song which he didn't record with the band and by a guy whom he got replaced with. That must have been kind of rough. I gotta say, Richie was kind of a dick. I mean, he's a brilliant musician, but I, I, he's kind of a dick to his bandmates a lot of the time. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Oh, isn't that cool? The way John's rocking the the beast, the hamming back and forth. It's just he puts that thing through so much abuse. It's, it's marvelous. Oh yeah. Okay, who is the director for this concert film? We've got a kick-ass Hammond organ solo going on. And none of the cameramen are focusing on John Lord. What is with directors in concert films? I see this over and over and over again. Whoever is soloing, the camera is never on whoever is doing a solo. I see this in concert films time and time again. It drives me absolutely bonkers. But that solo, let's just back that up and just listen. There you go. There you go. I love how he's. Oh, he 
You see this face? You see this face? This face does not lie. That soul will melt in my face. So great. I really love how John is mixing the the um, the blues scale, the minor pentatonic scale, with the harmonic minor scale. Richie does the same. It's that mixture of classical and blues together, which is really what makes this band, this band, and this band this good. Really and truly. Let's keep going. I love the growl on that hand and that distorted organ. Nice sustain on that note from Richie. Oh, that was cool. You see that? How Richie just kind of slid his hands along the neck of the guitar. That was a cool move. Ian Gillen smiling. That's a rarity to see with him and Richie. Him smiling on stage. I swear if Richie smiles once during this video, I will lose my shit. I will not believe until I see it because Richie Blackmore hardly ever smiles while on stage. I will lose my proverbial shit. Let's keep going. He's raising his fist in the air. He's getting into it. Great screams in the end. I mean, this is so great. Um, I just want to say how great Ian's singing is. He is singing so consistently well here. I mean... I thought he was good in the uh, the the version of Speaking from Moscow in 1996 when he was a bit older. But here he is just in his prime. He is in his element. He's I mean he's singing in tenor range, okay? Like I'm a baritone, okay? So like I, I my comfort zone is usually about an, an octave lower than Ian's. So I mean. Ian's lower register is my higher register. It's pretty high up for guys to sing. So, I mean, but he's got that voice and he's got those screams and that lovely, wide, delicious vibrato of his is, oh, goodness. And what a great solo from John Lord, right? What a great kick-ass solo. If you guys want to hear a fucking amazing version of this tune, excuse my, no, not excuse my French, I swear all the time guys just have to get used to it um great fucking version of this tune it was the one off made in japan i think that's like the for me that is the version of highway star and the solo that john lord does in the version of this tune off made in japan it will blow your goddamn mind when i heard it when i was like 19 or something i'm 35 now i'm old now i'm old news um, but, but when I was 19, I was a teenager and I heard that solo for the first time, my brain exploded and my eyes nearly came out of my sockets, blew my mind. So go listen to Highway Star from Made in Japan, uh, which is from 1972, I think, but, or you know what? Listen to the whole record because that is Deep Purple. You think this is good? You think this is good? You guys have heard nothing yet. Go check out Made in Japan. It will blow your minds. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. Okay. Some harmonics are going with it. Okay. Interesting. I like the chromatic run. I think Richie's played this better. This is a little bit sloppy from him, if I'm being honest. I've seen him do this better. But the, some of his ideas are interesting. Let's keep going. I love how he 
been smashing them. There's the, there's the, there's those, are those 16th notes or 30 seconds? Well, the, the 30 second notes, well, they're, they're really fast. I can't tell. I think it's, wait, so if the rhythm is, so it's triplets. So I think those are like double time triplets. Uh, from what I've read in interviews, um, the solo, if, especially if you hear the version of the studio version off Machine Head, the solo is um, based, I think he said, off of Mozart, I think, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure which Mozart piece it's based off of, but he based this guitar solo off of. But this is the classic bit where he's doing all these really fast triplet runs. And Ian's just up the Ian Gillen's up there matching him, note for note, which is great. The first half of the solo was okay. It's a bit sloppy. I've heard him do it better. If you guys really want to hear the solo done well live, listen to Made in Japan. That's uh, uh, that's killer, but this is pretty good too. I love how John is doubling him. You know, I wonder if all three of them are doing it. Let's 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 go back and listen. Yes, all three of them are doing that passage, that that run, that riff. It is not doubled. It is in triplicate. Triplicate. Can you believe it? That's incredible. That that is incredible. I'll take back what I said for the first half of the solo. That alone is worth the price of admission to hear those three guys up there are doing that. I'll take it back. Maybe I'm being a bit too hard on Richie, but then again. He is one of my favorite guitar players. He's also one of my biggest influences as a guitar player. So, I mean, I have probably heard him do it better. But you know what? You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll shut up. I'll shut up and I'll get, we'll keep going. You hear John Lord's harmonizing with him. Cool. Oh, that's a nice sweet picking. It's a nice way to end it. lyrics by the way speaking of the other ian ian pace and the way he's just driving the rhythm he's like a train he's like a goddamn fucking train that man just 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 go back and listen to what i'll just go back and listen to what ian pace is doing just the way he is keeping that immaculate groove so tight and he's just driving it he is the heart and soul of this band. And throughout every lineup change, he is the one consistent member. Since the very beginning, he's the only member not to, not to either get fired from Deep Purple or to leave of his own accord. It's the truth. Ian's been there since the start. So, let's just listen to him. I love how he just drives the beat. I love what the hi hats are doing. Look at him. Look, he's a fucking beast. Look at him. He's loving it. He's such it's one of my it's one of my favorite drummers, if not my favorite drummer. Oh, my 
thing I wish... The only thing I'm going to say... Sorry for stop. Keep stopping. But the only thing I wish... I... If I could change one thing about this mix, I'd want the bass to be a little bit higher. Because I can't really hear what Roger Glover is doing all that much. And I know the bass line to this tune. If you guys want to hear a killer bass line, um, you can search YouTube for it. Somebody's got the isolated bass track from the studio version to this tune from Machine Head, where it's just Roger Glover's bass. And it is just the grooviest killer bass line. You wouldn't think that it, that it's a busy part, but it is. And it's awesome. Let's keep going. We're almost at the end. There's John Rock in that organ. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. The poor Hammond. I think that was the sound of the Hammond falling back. And crashing onto the floor. Great. Great. Well, listen. I gotta say, this was pretty good. This is pretty killer. Um, this is really killer. I'm gonna admit, I've heard Richie do the guitar solo better. It's a bit sloppy for him. I, I find that with this period of the band, like with the reunion and stuff, he got a bit loose, a little bit too loose for my liking. Um, but that's just me personally. But in the 70s, in his prime, Richie Blackmore was, and still is, an absolute beast of a player. Um, but still, aside from, you know, Richie could have done the guitars a little bit better. This was great. This was really fucking great. I really enjoyed this. It was just cool to see the band and just how tight they are. How tight they are with their rhythms and their precision and their accuracy. And yet they still groove. You know, it's not stiff. It's not stiff. They are grooving and they are flowing and the energy is just great. And that solo from John Lord, man, man, there's a reason he is my Hammond hero. There is a reason I love that guy so much. Um, so thank you to um, whoever uh, recommended this. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Um, I think, yeah, that's it. I think I'm going to be doing a couple more reactions to Deep Purple. Um, I'll take a look at your uh, your uh, suggestions in the comments. And uh, speaking of which, if you want, uh, let me know in the comments who you want me to react to next. A different band, please. Um, give me a whole bunch of different artists that I should react to. Um, and uh, some of them may have heard, some of them I might not. I'm always looking for new stuff. So, I mean, the big bands, like, from, like, the 70s and 80s, like Deep Purple, Pink Floyd, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, Rush, all stuff like that I'm familiar with. I'm very familiar with. So, if you guys want to suggest some more uh, obscure and less known classic rock and metal bands. I'd love to listen to them because I love listening to new music. And I and that's what's really great about YouTube. You know, you find so much stuff that you didn't know was out there. And that's just part of the joy of it. So again, thank you guys for watching. I had so much fun doing this. Um, and uh, as always, please click the subscribe button below Ring the bell so you get notified uh, when I post another one of these. And also, I post some... Uh, I am a guitar player. I'm a musician. I post some guitar videos. Um, I do some lesson videos on occasion for slide guitar. I play a unique style of slide guitar called double slide guitar. It's very few people in the world do it. So um, it's pretty unique. So, I mean, if you want, check those out. Um, and, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Um, and let me know in the comments another band you'd like to see me react to. And uh, give the video a like, and I will see you all next time. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. I'm out.